Deer, moose, and drivers have all tried to share I-80 in Summit County for years with often deadly consequences. UDOT today started installing a new wildlife fencing near Jeremy Ranch. New specialist Jed Bull shows us how it will improve safety for humans and wildlife. UDOT crews today started to install this wildlife fencing out here on I-80 eastbound at Jeremy Ranch. People who live nearby tell me that the collisions with moose and deer started to happen more often and become more deadly, and they tell me that this fencing makes a difference. We were sick of seeing the moose getting killed. The people of Jeremy Ranch want a safer interstate rolling through their community. This is a safety issue for wildlife and people. They worried for years. A recent surge in traffic seemed to contribute to more crashes with wildlife. March of 16, we saw 12 moose fatalities in 10 days, and we said unacceptable. They founded Save People, Save Wildlife and worked on solutions with UDOT. It's a migratory path for lots of the, the larger animals, the deer, the elk, the moose, and even some bears. Pretty damn good. Go. The fencing will eventually funnel the animals to a 45-foot-wide overpass spanning I-80 at Parley's Summit. Which will get them across uh, I-80 safely without having to interact with vehicles. That overpass will be built next summer along with a truck climbing lane on the westbound side for two and a half miles from Jeremy Ranch to Parley's Summit. Slow climbing trucks and fast moving motorists have been a bad mix. It's just a really dangerous situation and we've had uh, in the last several years we've had a couple fatalities in there. And Fencing installed on the other side has already made a difference. 34 year-to-date wildlife fatalities in this area last year, 12 fewer so far this year. That's according to numbers compiled by the community group. People are like, I'm so glad somebody's doing something. Wildlife experts tell UDOT. Over generations of wildlife that the, the animals will learn the new migratory path and they'll use that, that corridor to pass. The total price tag for the project, including the wildlife overpass and the truck climbing lane, is $22 million, and it should be wrapped up about this time next year. In Summit County, Jed Bowell for KSL 5 News. Yeah, some